Welcome back to part 3 of our video tutorial where we are making a one bedroom apartment. In the previous video I did pause uh, at a moment where I said I was going to go and populate my house with a whole bunch of furniture. So I've done that and I'm now back in to my 2D view where you can see I've got my lounge room and dining room sorted, my bedroom, my walk-in robes, bathroom, hallway and kitchen. Okay, you see they're all populated with plenty of goodies. You probably can't tell what they all are from this 2D view, so what you will need to do is just go to the 3D view to have a better look at your house so you can see what's going on. So if we come in over the top here, have a look, you can see the lounge room is pretty much TV lounge and got some dines, dining settings. Now in the um, kitchen we had a fair bit going on. We had quite a few cupboards and shelves put in, the sink, the um, oven with the range hood. We swing this around a bit. Hopefully you can see the dishwasher in there. Very hard to navigate. We've got plenty of storage. We've got the kitchen sink and there's a fridge over here in the corner. Okay. Coming around to my walk-in robe, you can see we've got plenty of storage. Both sides, a little bit on the outside, plenty on the inside. I'll swing around. Oh dear, where are we? There we go, so plenty of storage in the actual walk-in robe. You can see my bedroom, pretty basic, just a bed and a light. And over in my bathroom, I've got the shower, the vanity there, and the toilet. Okay, you probably could put things like mirrors and whatnot in there as well, just for an added effect, but I didn't get time to do that. Okay, you can see in the hallway too, I've just got a bit of storage down the end of the hallway. Okay, so that is my house, looking pretty sweet. A couple of things I want to show you though, when I was adding stuff into my house, okay, one of the cool things you can do is jump online and you can actually download all sorts of different um, pieces of furniture to put into your house. Two very good websites, one is Revit City, okay, you can search for certain things, um, or you can go through all the folders and just browse through all the different things you want to download, or we've got this BIM object website, okay, and in here I was just searching for showers. Uh, because I didn't think Revit had a very good selection, but you can go in here, search showers, and there's all sorts of different things you can download. Okay, they're actual parts that do exist in the real world, and they just convert them into little drawings for you to go into your design. So all you do is download the Revit file, and when you add a component, you should be able to search through your account and add it in. So I did that for a few bits and pieces, like my shower screen. Um, what we might do next is put some ceilings on to our apartment now that we've finished decorating inside. Okay, and that way I can put a ceiling fan in as well. If you want, you could even put some lights in. You don't have to do that in this tutorial, but it is a possibility. Alright, so to put our ceilings in, it's pretty straightforward. We go back up the top to the architecture tab, and in the ribbon, we've got the option to put in a ceiling. Make sure you're on your ground floor view, though, before you actually click on that. So I'll click on ceiling. Okay, and all we need to do is click around the outside of our document. Now, I'm on, I'm on automatic sealing at the moment. If I click on my document, it doesn't quite cover the whole apartment. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go over here to sketch sealing. Okay, and we're basically going to click on all the endpoints around our apartment. Okay, so on those exterior walls. So you want our ceiling to cover all of our apartment up. Okay, when you're done, you should have a nice little enclosed pink line around your apartment. And you can just press the green tick when you're happy with that. And that puts the ceiling on. Now, you can't see that in the ground floor view, obviously. But if you go over to the 3D view now, you can see we've got a ceiling on our apartment. You can see some of the walls just coming through there, but don't worry about that. But we have got a roof on our apartment now. So the only way to look in now is through these two rear windows. Alright. So what I might do now, while we're still in this video here, is put in some sliding doors out the back here. So we're going to add a little deck onto our um, apartment very shortly. So to get these sliding doors in, what we need to do is head back to our ground floor tab over here. And we're going to go up to the component button in our architecture tab and load in a family. Okay, now I'll just get back a folder here so I can show you where I went. I went into the Doors folder. And from the Doors, plenty there to pick from. Okay, we want to get this sliding door four panel. 
Okay, there might be an error when we open this. Okay, there it is there. You might get this, you might not. Hopefully you don't, but if you do get it, okay, it's just saying it can't load in the family files. So just say no to that. All right. Now if we look down in our panels here, in our project browser, we've got doors. Okay, and it couldn't load in the four panel glass doors that we wanted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Windows Explorer here, so my account, and I've navigated my way through to the Revit libraries, and I've found the sliding doors here. I'm just going to double click on it to open them. Okay, and that opens up the glass doors in Revit just as a single file. All right, so what we can do is click Load into Project. Okay, and what that does is actually loads the doors into our project over here now. So you can see in doors we've got the sliding door four panel. If you hover over your document, you can see that you can stick them in somewhere near the lounge room here. Okay, so you can choose what way you want it to go. Um, I'm going to have probably the two outer doors on the outside, so closest to the bricks, and then the two inner doors closer to the living room. And I want to get it pretty much in the center of my lounge room here. So let's try and work out. There's the center right there. And click it into place. A little bit confusing that, but hopefully you get that right. If you can't, just whack another door there. It doesn't matter. As long as you've got a door leading out to the balcony in a moment. So we can close this view one, which is our sliding door panel. We don't need that anymore. And go to our 3D view for a look. And you can see now we've got these nice glass sliding doors at the back of our apartment which also allows us to see into the living area if we just do a bit of a fly around. All right, so that's looking sweet. What we might do is stop the video there, and I'll come back in the next one, and we'll add a deck onto our apartment.